you say that the special prosecutor should arrest the people who were named in Professor Frimpong Boateng's report to the president, which got leaked recently. Is it the normal politics, usual politics that you are on, or what? Well, definitely no. We are very much convinced that the state, the special prosecutor, is aware of the dangers we are facing today, the extent to which Ghana is putting the, a situation of destruction over years of Galamse and cooperation by government itself. And if the report is anything of significance, it has led to the arrest of the, the, the chairman, the former chairman of the, the committee on, um, you know, mine, interministerial committee on mines and illegal mining. And if that significance is placed on Primpom Boateng to the extent that he is questioned and even arrested, it shows that there is something significant in the report. And the, more, the, the, the most significant thing is that names of government officials are mentioned. And these names have been seen to be part and parcel of the destructive activities that are going on. So nobody had thought about the arrest of Frimpon Boateng over destruction, over uh, Gallum, uh, what do you call them, over uh, the machinery, the, um, excavators. the excavators that, you know, I mean, those are just, by the way, how do we get this man quiet? Is the reason they, they, they got him. But essentially, they are targeting him because of the report. And the report is touching directly on the nerve of government. And so for... A, it's not just excavators that the OSP is looking at. Yeah, yeah. It but talks about other machines talks about vehicles, yes. it talks about even money that was made available to the committee and how it was spent. Yes. It talks about gold nuggets. Yes. The, the tax force, as, as it went round, seized gold, oh, okay. among other things. How have they been accounted for? Yeah. So the special prosecutor's interest is on corruption and corruption-related offenses in respect of the activities of the dissolved a committee. But I'm, what we are saying is this, that this is all triggered by a report done by the committee chaired by Professor Frimpong Boateng. And we are interested in all of that because the people we are dealing with, the MPP we are dealing with, cannot be trusted in all these matters. In fact, it's an indication of how far destructive they have gone. They have taken the excavators, they have corrupted the system, they have taken gold nuggets, they have done everything that is unthinkable by state officials. Is it's, it, it's, if it's, it is not for the populist political purpose, tell us what it is. When the special prosecutor informs the world on the 10th of October 2022 that it was investigating this committee in respect of the issues we have mentioned, and then once Professor Frimpong Boateng's report get leaked, gets leaked, <clears throat> they issue a statement again because civil society is calling on them to take the report and take action. And they issue a report to remind us on the 3rd of May this year that they are still on their investigations they began in 2022 and that tents have been invited have been arrested, so to speak. And as you know, there's one individual from the Jubilee House, formerly, who is fighting to be investigated, prevent, to, be, to prevent the SP from investigating him. Yes, yes. So if you are aware of all of this, and we are told that, but for Professor Fimpon Boateng situation getting leaked by whoever, we would not have known that they have been investigating many people how do you come to hold a press conference to say, arrest ABC? <laughs> Thompson, it's very simple. These you have elaborated are key and necessary actions that are taken. And, and, and we think that by, by, by spelling them out and by taking that action, isn't much our problem 
than the fact that the people who had been given the mandate to run this country are mentioned to be key individuals who are involved in all the destruction we are seeing. And we are very much interested in the state itself, the, the, the managers of the state them, it, itself, I mean the, the managers of the state themselves, to be accountable for what has happened or what is continuing to happen. And so we believe that by extending that arrest, we would have been confident that government is serious and is doing the right thing. And that's why we are asking for it. The special prosecutor tells you yes. that I have been investigating these people and that no single person connected to these activities will be spared. Yes. That they are investigating hundreds. Yes. And they have already spoken to or interrogated tens. Yes. All of them, no one has gone on self-recognizance bail, meaning they were arrested. No one went without a caution statement. So we are happy. Yeah, so why the press conference? The if press you are conference aware of is, all of these. The press conference is 100% necessary. We, we, but we are not against the fact that the, state, uh, the, 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 uh, the investigations are going on. That's not our concern. I mean, we are not against it. We want more investigations to go on. We want more arrests to, be to, to happen. We want further input into it by subjecting it to public investigation. That's what we are looking for. And so don't appear as if by that state conf that press conference, we are against the, uh, the, you know, the arrest or the, the, the significant legal body that is doing what they are doing. We are happy that they are doing all that. But we are calling for further action. And that's very key to us. Arresting Frimpon Boatin alone is not Satisfying we are back this. to that. Yes. You don't believe the special prosecutor when it, se it tells you, a the Office of Special Prosecutor, when it tells you that there are many people involved. Yes. Not only Professor Frimpong Boating, yes. but for Professor Frimpong Boating's, you know, <clears throat> in intervention, inter interaction, encounter being leaked. Yeah. You would not have known that many people have been there. And, of course, you know of one person from the Jubilee House also who was also named... Mm. and who has been fighting the special prosecutor from arresting him. Uh, so it, what is the need, what was the need for your press conference? The need is to create, create this kind of consciousness we are talking today. Create a situation where Ghanaians are aware that uh, there's a rot happening, state involvement is there, the special prosecutor is working on it, but has not gone far enough. We are calling on him to go further than what he has done. How do Want you to... know that he has not gone, it has not gone far enough? when you don't know the specific persons in the tents that have already been interrogated? The question is, why would he not let us know? And so we have to question it. I mean, you don't do these things as sacrosanct, as if it is, it, is, it is a secret. We want everything to be clear. And if it is not clear, we call for it to be clear. It's necessary, and we will do more. We want to assure Ghanaians that nothing should be hidden from the ears and eyes of Ghanaians. You didn't say yes. that we know you are doing your work, but we want it to be public. And if you want a public uh, process, like you said, that is not the special prosecutor's uh, outfit. That's not what they do. Nobody, they do nobody, this work, and they did, present a half-yearly report. Yeah. Until that time is up, you can't be demanding that they should make things public. And they say mm -hmm. that we don't make these things public because we don't want to embarrass and prejudice uh, things against the people who appear before us. You, you, I, I don't think that anybody put the state, the, 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 the office of the special prosecutor on the table in the press conference we did. We only asked for the arrest, further arrest of other people who are key government officials, who are state appointees. The, the, in fact, we didn't even mention the special prosecutor in our, in our press conference. We just talk about further arrests to be made. Because if, we, if you have 100 people committing a certain crime, and there's one criminal amongst them who is supposed to supervise for the crime not to be committed, our interest, key interest, must be on the one who is supervising. And we all know that three people who are mentioned, who have been mentioned, either because of what Armi has, has, has brought out and brought out uh, Mr. Bisu, or whether that, what the report has mentioned and mentioned the names, three names of uh, uh, Mr. Gabi, 
Kwam, Mr. Kwam, Honorable Kwam, and then Lord Komi, we want all of them to be, to, be, to be brought to the table, to be questioned before the public, so it will serve as a deterrence for other government officials who we suspect are part of this and are not mentioned to be aware that the public are watching. We are, want we, a public inquiry. We want a public inquiry. We want to make sure um, the whole public is looking at them. They are listening to what is happening. The inquiry is made. The truth is brought out. You want, People who are do you want to do this? Not parliament? Uh, public, parliament will not be a key factor in this kind of public inquiry we are talking about. We are talking about a bipartisan public inquiry, which will be set up with key individuals who we know can investigate the matter, the letter, and who we trust will not circumvent the truth, mm. and who we believe will bring out the essence of what we are looking for. All right. Yeah. Um